Welcome back to the show where finally you might be wondering, okay, Heritage, we get it, but where is the dessert? Well, we're getting it prepared. Life can be very tough these days, and sometimes you just feel not so hot. But one great way to get around that is to take a moment and have a cup of tea or coffee and stir up to cheer up with Cremel. Apart from the best creamer to stir in your cuppa, we're also using it in our Dreamsicle Cremel trifle recipe that will be 100%. I mean, it's guaranteed to stir up a smile on anyone's face. Now, do me, I just have that feel-good moment going on. Tell us, what do we need to create this? Palisa, whether you love it or hate it, trifle is a South African staple. Where, whether you want to make it your way, the fact of the matter, South Africa, trifle is a standard. I was telling someone that they should actually put it on our banknotes. It should be our <laughs> national <laughs> dish. <laughs> but we're making it with a bit of a twist today, Palisa. Instead of uh, putting too many ingredients, we're going to be using our clover cremel in the actual mixture for that creaminess, uh, you know, Palisa. We, what we're starting it off is we're going to make sure that we mix it into our our, our dish here. And I think what I love about it is the fact that not only am I using it as um, in my, my baking today, not even baking, but in my dessert, but you could use it in so many different applications, Palisa. You could use it as a, um, you could use it in baking. You could even use it to thicken up a white sauce, for instance, if you're trying to make a, a dish like that for your pasta. You could use it as baking. You could like Yeah, do me. Tea. What I really love about um, Cremel as well is that yes, today in this recipe, we're using it for a sweet dis dish, for a dessert, but you can also also use it to thicken up and make anything creamy. Even your savory dishes, you can use it, as Dumi says, in a white sauce. I love to use it in my mashed potatoes or in my samp. But today as well, not only are we using it in our dessert, but I also want to have a little bit of kappa. You know we spoke about having a little bit of kappa to keep it creamy. And you might be wondering, you know, what's the secret to cremal being so creamy? It's because a lot of people don't know it's actually made out of real uh, powder from milk. So mm -hmm. that's essentially what just adds to it. And also what I've added into the sauce here, I've added a bit of my condensed milk. I've got some lemon juice. I've also got some our cremel powder that I've added and some cold water. So what happens is this mixture is actually going to thicken up nicely and it's going to hold its shape, allowing you to get those beautiful layers that a trifle is so noticeable by. So all I want to do is just whisk it up and this helps to thicken up our trifle palisa. And the creaminess from this is going to pair so perfectly with what Chef is doing. I see you yeah. started on your berries. I just started cutting some of the berries and I like that you said it's less is more for this trifle yeah. because <laughs> if you give this tannies half a chance, ne, you'll hoi <laughs> everything with the kitchen sink in a trifle. That's but, true. <laughs> my mother was always known for a trifle and I promise you that invited to functions just so she can make a trifle Aww. for you. But less is more. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so when it comes to creating and perfecting a trifle, I can see you also have some sponge cake. How does one make sure that, you know, is it just kind of, I know we said don't hoi everything, but it almost seems like it. It's kind of layering it as well, so you can kind of break it up, but you want to get a bit of layers in it because that's the whole objective. And then okay. as you cut into it, it looks like this kind mm -hmm. of set cake or something yeah. like that. Mm. Okay. Uh, Chef, you started off with some um, Swiss roll there, which is also quite a significant, something that South Africans also definitely love. And you're going to be adding other layers, right? We've got some fruits yes. there. Yeah, so we've got the sponge cake. I just got a bit of uh, liqueur that we're going to soak it in. You know, you've got to have a bit of that going on. There's some custard, the cremel that you've made early mm -hmm. on, the mixture, lemon juice and that, fresh mm -hmm. flavours coming through. Jelly, which is, I think, one of the important layers in a trifle. Yeah. And then some fresh fruits on top of it as well. Beautiful. I mean, you can use canned fruits also because that's what we normally use at home. I was going to say, sometimes... <laughs> fresh you know, stuff's expensive. At the end of the day, when it's time for dessert, when the family has come together, we've bride, we've had fun, National Bride Day. Another thing that's nice is that ain't nobody got the time to be making and cutting up fresh berries. So a lot of people definitely, we just use the tin, open it up, plop it in. But I also love this whole reminiscent feeling mm. and nostalgic feeling I get when I just think of Heritage Day and how different South Africans celebrate Heritage heritage. Uh, for myself, nothing cheers me up. As we were talking about cheering up and putting a smile mm. on our faces, we want to stir up the smiles on every South African's face. For myself, every single time I have a cup of coffee and I just add that dollop of oh. cremel, it just, it, even if my mom was hollering at me on the phone, <laughs> as soon as I put down the phone and I have some of this, it's just like, wusa. Like, I'm, I'm joking, mom. <laughs> 
<laughs> I understand exactly what you're saying. After a long day, you know, you've been at work and then you've dealt with Mashokwa and you want to just calm down. That beautiful cup of tea or coffee, that, like, like you're talking about, and just to let it all get away, you know, just let it get out of your mind, calm down, add a... I, I, I am so indulgent that I add about two to three spoons of that in my tea because it makes it so nice and creamy. Mm. You don't need anything else besides the tea and the milk and the, and the cremel in there. Love what it. you can do also is like I just add it in a little bit of water or a touch of milk in it and I froth it up in a bottle. Oh. And then you can pour it over like your instant coffee, make sure in the morning. Look and it's you. like an espresso made yeah, or like a cappuccino. cappuccino. <laughs> Classic cappuccino. A classic cappuccino. <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm very excited. Not only to try this recipe, I can see Chef Dion is excited to... Yeah, I'm dropping the jelly. <laughs> <laughs> to get this recipe, head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. And we want to hear from you. When you're feeling in a need of a little cheering up after that long day, or those moments that just you get a little down, how do you use cremal to stir up and cheer up? Get commenting on the socials and we could send you a hamper so that you can stir up and cheer up even more. But stick around as we're going to devour the heritage meal that we've made with Chef Aya and Chef Dion.